When we think about puberty, preteens and pimples may come to mind, but sometimes it starts too early and can leave parents and children both unprepared. At seven years old, I took Haley to the pediatrician because she had painful lumps on her chest. We were so worried, but it turns out she was developing breasts. It really threw me for a loop. And at 11, she already wears a B cup. I started my cycle last summer at camp. I was 10 and I had to call my mom because I didn't know what to do. I'm not embarrassed to talk about it. My mom and my grandma say that they started their cycle when they were 11. Haley's still in elementary school. She'll always be daddy's little girl. But I see a young woman developing before my eyes sooner than I thought it would happen. Haley and her parents, Lisa and Rick, join us today and back to help educate parents about precocious puberty is Dr. Frida Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. Thank you, thank you. you. So puberty starts when the brain and the pituitary gland discharge or send out hormones. Now, in girls, those hormones target the ovaries to produce estrogen, and that's what leads to the changes in girls. And in boys, these hormones target the testicles to release testosterone, and that's what leads to changes in boys. Now, puberty usually starts between 8 and 13 years old in girls and between 9 and 15 year olds in boys. If it happens earlier than that, it's a sign of a condition we refer to as precocious puberty. Now, this is 10 times more common in girls than it is in boys, and it's also more common in African Americans and Hispanics. And in girls, the first signs may be early breast development, followed by pubic, leg, or underarm hair, rapid height gain, the start of menstruation, acne, even body odor. And in boys, early signs can be an enlargement of the testicles or penis, followed by pubic, underarm, or facial hair development, rapid height gain, voice deepening, acne, and body odor. And I want to ask you, Lisa, what has this experience been like for you and your family? Since she developed so early, she's already had to start shopping at women's clothing stores. So I feel she's missing out on a lot of the things other 10 and 11 year olds enjoy. And Haley, what about you? How, how is this affecting you? Well, most of my friends are boys, so it makes it harder to play tackle football with them because it hurts my chest. And last summer, we went to Disneyland. I wanted to dress up as a Disney princess, but they didn't have any dresses or shoes in my size. Aww. And ultimately, if you're worried about this, it's important that you talk to your pediatrician if you suspect that early puberty could be occurring in your child. Certainly there's physical and emotionally difficult things that kids go through and also sometimes it's a sign of potentially other health problems. Mostly the causes of this are just an early acceleration of the normal sexual development. On the other hand though, this can sometimes be caused by abnormally high hormones and that can be caused by abnormal changes in the brain, in the ovaries, or in the testicles, or with issues with the pituitary or adrenal glands. Now the onset of puberty for both boys and girls in the U.S. is getting earlier and earlier. Some of the factors that may contribute to this include higher rates of obesity, higher fat and high sugar diets, climate stress, even declining physical activity that we are seeing in more and more children. Absolutely. Now, sometimes children don't need uh, treatment for this. Basically, puberty starts, it stops on its own, and we're done. If treatment is needed, it'll depend on the cause for the early puberty, the age of the child, and how quickly um, all of these things are developing in them. And it can be obviously really tough when you're a kid and you're going through this, but parents, it's important. You're the parent, you can help your child feel good about him or herself point out your child's strengths. Don't focus on those body changes that may be affecting their mental or their self-esteem. And so Rick, I wanted to ask you as the father here, how have you handled that part, being the parent? Well, Haley's definitely uh, more sensitive and I've noticed her emotional changes. Uh, I'm also her softball coach, so um, I point out that uh, since she's taller, she's now more competitive in sports and uh, she likes that, <laughs> so. <laughs> so I have to say, you know, Haley, your attitude is just so great. It's clear your parents are really proud of you uh, for the way that you're handling this. And you should be proud of yourself because you're going to be such an inspiration to kids. For more information, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for the Get Healthy, Stay Healthy newsletter. Well, I just an absolutely beautiful family. Thank you all for being here. Dr. Lewis Hall, thanks as always.